what, what, what the ladies talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? After James Miller retired from the Austin Police Department, he took up guitar, strumming the instrument at a nearby musician's bar trying to put together a jazz band and getting together at the house of David Spencer, a 32-year-old neighbor and a saxophonist who shared his passion. In 2015, after a night of music and drinking at Spencer's house, Miller testified his younger neighbor made a fatal mistake. He moved in for a kiss. We were playing back and forth and everything, and I just let him know, hey, I'm not gay, Miller 69 said in an affidavit. We've been playing with musicians and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not a gay guy. Then it seemed like everything was all right and everything was fine. When I got ready to go, it seemed like shit just started happening. Then he said he pulled out a knife and stabbed Spencer twice. Miller showed up at the police station a few hours later and told on himself. He was charged with murder. Three years later, the former police employee claims that the killing was in self-defense and that he was in a gay panic after being hit on by another man. Such claims are legitimate viable defenses in all but two states, California and Illinois. In Miller's case, the defense was successful. Jurors did not find him guilty of murder or manslaughter. He was convicted of criminally negligent homicide, but he will not spend one day in prison. The former police employee was sentenced to six months in jail. He will have to complete 100 hours of community service, pay $11,000 in restitution to Spencer's family, and use a portable alcohol monitoring service for at least a year. He will also be on probation for 10 years. A decade on probation? Wait a minute, man, either you're guilty or you're innocent. I think that was a compromise. We're gonna get him this, we're gonna pile it on, we're gonna make sure you get this, this. That way, you know, we can't say that we let him slide. You know, we really wanna let him go all the way, but we know the LBGT community gonna go crazy, so we're gonna give him some kind of punishment. And the judge still figured out a way to give him some time in jail. Come on, man. Gay community. Let me talk to y'all for a minute. Let me tell you what God loved and he loved the truth. Let me explain something to you that the law ain't going to never protect you from. The law will never protect you from the wrath of a straight man if you try to compromise his manhood. You see, I've noticed something about straight males, being that I'm one. Straight males will go to any length to protect their manhood. They don't want nobody having no kind of different views of them. When they look at them, when somebody look at them, they want them to see a man at all times. And they will protect that identity with their life. They'll lay down their life before they give up their manhood. You can't play with straight men. You just can't do it. Don't play with straight males. You know, you make that move, you better make damn sure that old dude all the way on board. You better make sure. Because it ain't going to never get to a point to where y'all are going to be able to holler at dudes, straight dudes, like straight dudes holler at women. That ain't going to happen. It's just not going to happen. It'll never come a point to where dudes are going to be okay with, a straight man going to be okay with being tricked into kissing uh, some type of uh, trans person and finding out later that that person is a trans Man, you better run for the border. You better run. Because I'm telling you, you do that to a straight man and you, you basically gambling with your life. And you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? Now, I know some of y'all might be offended 
with what I'm saying. But I'm just giving you some truth. Hey, you can take it or leave it. But I'm telling you what the truth is. This is a reality. This is, this is a reality that the law ain't going to protect you from. Now, the law might punish the man, might punish the straight male in the aftermath. But what does it matter if you're dead or maimed? You know, what does it matter? Don't play games with straight males. Just don't do it. It ain't going to never get that cool. You can't just sexually assault someone and expect them to not defend themselves. Lethal force is acceptable anytime someone is sexually assaulted. Now, I heard that the prosecutors were trying to argue that because the defendant didn't have a scratch on his body because he wasn't physically harmed and because the victim then didn't announce any uh, intentions to physically harm him, that lethal force was ludicrous. They wasn't having it. I wonder when's the last time a prosecutor argued that after the police killed an unarmed black person or anybody. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah.